All right, guys, so I made it back to the house this morning with this beaver. And just recently, guys, I uh, acquired a new knife. And I've never been a big custom uh, knife guy, but I acquired this knife, and, and since I've had it, I haven't been able to stop looking at it. But I want to do a little video. This is the very first time I've used it. First opportunity I've had since I got it. And uh, it's a Muskrat Man Meat Trapper Skinner. And uh, we're fixing to put, it to put it to the test and see how well we like it. I've always used a sheep skinner uh, to uh, skin my beavers. Uh, this is it's a similar design, but it's a smaller knife. Uh, it's got this hump on the back of it that allows you to get in here to make this open and cut. And that hump's going to push those uh, guts and intestines down while the knife cuts the fur. And then, then the round belly on this knife is going to make it idea for uh, getting the hide off of this beaver. But uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description below. If you're interested in one of these knives, go check this link out. It's a uh, muskrat man knives, and I know Cal personally, and he, he's an awesome guy. Uh, so go check him out, and if you're looking for a knife, give him a try. Guarantee you won't be disappointed. I know I'm not going to be disappointed in this knife. If I am, you'll never see this video. But anyway, guys, uh, he's got a custom holster or sheath, sheath for it that he handmade, uh, stamped on the back by him. Uh, just just awesome overall quality. Since I've had this knife, I haven't been able to, I bet I looked at it 10 or 15 times uh, before I finally put it on the shelf and got to doing something else. But anyway, let's give this thing a go and see what, see what we think of it. We're gonna use it for the whole thing. Uh, I want to saw our thing sharp and come right in here on them joints, pop them off. Guys, the reason we're skinning this beaver, we're not going to put this hide up, but but we're going to go ahead and take the fur off of it, and I'm going to throw it out here in the yard and let the chickens pick on it for two or three days, and that's going to that's going to feed them, and uh, that's the reason we're skinning this beaver. This thing is sharp, guys. Really good edge on it and again I'm not a knife guy I don't know all the terminology but you can just barely see the edge on this thing he does a great grind on it get it sharp and again we're not worried about cutting holes or preserving this hide so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna concentrate it on it too much I'm just gonna get get the job done get this tail cut off and basically what we're doing we're just going right down in there and we're gonna, we're gonna find that joint that thing just went right straight through that joint no issue at all all right i like that grip too that grip specifically designed for this so far i'm liking it That hump's working just like it's designed to do. It's pushing down on that belly. Hump's pushing down on the belly and the point of that knife's grabbing that hide and allowing us to work it, to work it all the way up without cutting into it. All right, guys, now here's where the belly comes into play. You can take that belly and just, and just roll that knife around. working good I just put my finger right on the backbone of that knife and just take and, and and turn that wrist and point that have that point down again we're not saving the fur so we're not going to worry about wringing those legs
same thing up here. We're just gonna, gonna cut that around that leg. Do this other side, same thing. We're just gonna, gonna pull that pull that hide tight. We're gonna take and just twist our wrist and point the point of that knife down into there. Guys, this knife just it started to lose its edge just a hair. It, it's going to be my partially because I use it to cut those feet off, cut through that bone. But it's going to be nothing to touch up for the leather strap or or my uh, my sharpening steel. Just a few hits on that sharpening steel is going to sharpen it right up. But I'll, I'll get this thing, eventually I'll get it uh, uh, shaped to my sharpening style and it'll be real easy to keep this knife sharp, no doubt whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and just work it all the way up here around his head and take this hide all the way off the end of the head. Normally, if I'm in there on the table when I'm set up and skinning, skinning every day to catch this, I've got a separate knife that I do cut through that bone and foot with just to keep this from happening. And then once I get up here to the head, I'll also use a, a, a separate knife because taking that steel and running it down into that bone will go them quick. But since we're going, we're going to go ahead and, and work, just see how we like it, the shape and everything, see how it works. We're going to go ahead and work around this head. And then we'll touch this knife up whenever we get done. Get it sharp and ready to go for next time.
I do like that belly on that thing. That belly makes it. I like the shape of it. I like the way it's working around everything. Overall, guys, this I, I may have me a new beaver skinner come fall. <laughs> go. Got the hide off there guys. Knife. Needs a little bit of touching it up, sharpening, but that's, that's going to be any knife I've ever used. Uh, overall, this is a good knife. I really think I'm going to be giving it a lot more use. And if you guys are looking for a custom knife, go check out Muskrat Man Knives and uh, talk with Cal. I guarantee you he'll help you however he can. And, uh, and you'll leave a satisfied customer. I have no doubt in my mind. But guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to get this dude thrown over here to the chickens and let them go after it. And uh, call it a day. Do it again tomorrow. There we go guys, we can save on chicken feed for a few days. It won't take them long, they'll have that whole thing gone except for uh, the skeleton and the guts, stomach content. Everything else, those chickens will clean up within a few days. So, again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you. See you next video.